Good morning, dear students. Uh, welcome to this uh, session on moment distribution method. So we are going to solve portal frame with sway. So last session we have talked about the procedure, uh, how to uh, solve for frame with sway. So first we have to assume a support to prevent sway, then carry out a non-sway analysis, then find sway force by taking free body diagrams of columns, and then assume some moments due to sway, and then carry out the moment distribution method, then again find sway force which is arbitrary called yes dash then find correction factor and finally to get final end moments you have to add non-sway moments plus correction factor multiplied by sway moments means corrected sway moments shall be added to non-sway moments to get final end moments let us see how uh, you solve with an example so take this example uh, analyze the portal frame shown below using moment distribution method so you have a frame here with column a b four meters moment of inertia i this column c d is having eight meters and having moment of inertia two i whereas beam b c is a four meter span and having 2i moment of inertia loads if you see uh, column a b is having a point load at uh, one meter from top and c d has no load at all and b c has got udl which is 30 kilonewton per meter okay so now uh, clearly that if you see the frame it is going to sway to the right this, this is this frame is going to sway to the right okay right because load is acting to the rightward and similarly the uh, columns are having uh, unequal heights and even uh, the moment of inertia are not same so with all these unsymmetries column height is not same and moment of inertia is not same and you have particularly horizontal load acting on it so that it will push the frame to the right so this frame is going to have a horizontal uh, you know, deformation uh, towards right hand side so what the procedure said you have to assume a support at beam level to stop sway so if i keep a support like this so that frame will not uh, bend towards right i mean uh, i shall not call it as bending i shall call it as sway okay so frame uh, will not have sway towards right so this is how we assume support then now carry out non-sway analysis it's just like uh, non-sway analysis is very similar to a continuous beam. So let's find out uh, step one, which is fixed end moments. The AB, you take it as fixed beam. Okay, this is A, this is B. So total four meter span. And load is a uh, one meter from B. This is one meter from B, so hence this is three meters and load is 20. Okay, so MF AB value P A B square by L square. This is A and this is B. So that is negative anti clockwise moment. This is going to be clockwise, so plus P A square b by l square so these are the values bc same way fix the beam bc and then find fixed end moments wl square by 12 
negative value uh, at B and positive value at C. And similarly, CD has got no load, so moments are zero. Fixed beam, take CD as fixed beam, and then as there is no load at all, moments are zero. C moment at C zero, moment at D zero. Now let's go for finding distribution factors. There are two joints, joint B, and joint C. So make a tabular form. Joint members k values and joint stiffness distribution factors so joint v has got ba bc members so ba a is uh, foreign foreign is fixed for ei by l so value is ei bc c is also taken as fixed end because it is continuous you okay, can see C is uh, now the rigid joint, which is assumed as rigid joint. So 4 EI by L, okay. So BC, you see 4 is the span, 2I is the I value. So 2I by 4, which will be 2 EI. The joint B take total EI plus 2 EI, which is 3 EI, okay. So 1 by 3, 0 0.33. 2 by 3, 0 0.67. Whereas joint C has got CB, CD members. CB, CD. Again, B is a rigid joint. So 4 EI by L, 2 EI. Then D is fixed support, 4 EI by L. Okay. I is 2 I for column CD span is 8 meters so again 3 ei so 2 by 3 is 0.67 1 by 3 0.33 so this is how we find distribution factors for uh, frame a b c d for joints b and c going for distribution process so make a tabular form again uh, first column shows the operation that you are going to do and then the all uh, nodes A, B, C, T in the frame. So write distribution factors in a first row. The next row comes the fixed end moments. So just uh, list the fixed end moments, minus 3.75, 11.25, minus 40, plus 40, 0 and 0. So minus 3.75, 11.25, minus 40, plus 40, 0 and 0. Moment at C0, moment at D0. Right. Go for balancing first. So take giant B. So 11.25 and minus 40. So there is a value remaining here. So to make it 0, uh, how much you add, uh, how much to uh, giant, uh, no, P and B in AB, how much to E and B in BC, okay? So this is how <coughs> we add the values. Then balance giant C, this is balancing giant C, and balancing giant B. So here if you see, uh, remaining value is negative value. So we are going to add plus values here, okay? Whereas here, remaining value is 40 is the remaining value there. So unbalanced value. So to balance that, you have to add minus 40. So that's why you are going to add minus values there. Then once you add the moments to balance the joint, then you have to carry over the moments to the forends. So B has got a and C for ends, okay. So B to A, half the value will go, and 9.5 by 2. Similarly, B to C, half value will go, 19.26 by 2, okay. Similarly, giant C is going to have balanced values, minus 26.8 and minus 13.2 added for balancing. So they are also to be carried to B and C, okay? So that is carryover moment. So 
joint B again unbalanced by this value. Joint C unbalanced by this value. Okay, disturbed now. Then again to make it zero, add positive values, add negative values to C, add positive values to B, add negative values to C. Then once the balancing is done, then go for carryover. Okay. So likewise, we do a number of trials, like number of cycles, one, two, then three, and then four. Okay, so fifth, now with the fifth uh, cycle, you are going to have under zero uh, balance, okay? So here the unbalanced value, you can see it is just 0 0.08. And here it is just 0 0.125. If you want to make it still lower uh, uh, no, towards zero, uh, you can go for one more try, okay? Now you add all these values at A will give you MAB value due to non-sway. Similarly, moment at b and moment at c add all those values moment at d okay so these are final end moments uh, without sway okay so now let us see what to do so once uh, you you complete the non-sway analysis okay so it is next job is to find yes value that means reaction at support uh, no uh, the assumed to stop sway okay so what is the force coming from this one as the frame is trying to move towards right so the force acts towards left this is what is yes so to find this one you need to uh, take free body diagram of the frame then you have horizontal reaction at a ha you have horizontal reaction at d then there is a force 20 so sigma fx zero will give you yes value when you get yes value when you are able to solve for support reactions ha hd values so to get ha value you take free body diagram of column ab to get hd you get you, you take free body diagram of cd then once you get ha hd values then take total frame free body diagram to get yes value so this is how you solve for sway force. So let us see, take column AB. So apply horizontal forces and moments uh, that you just found. So what are the values? A moment is 4.1 clockwise, B 26.9 clockwise. These two values are required for column AB. So both are positive, that's why uh, I say clockwise. So clockwise 26.9, clockwise 4.1. This is point B, point A, so HA, I assume HA towards right. So you have to assume HA, and then uh, according to the sign, we change the direction. So 20 is the applied load. So take moments about B so that you get HA value. So writing sum of all moments about B0, taking clockwise positive, so 4.1 positive, 26.9 positive. This is anti-clockwise, 20 into 1. Then HA into 4 is also anti-clockwise. Moment from HA, moment from 20. So what is HA value? 2.75 kN. This is free body diagram of column AB. Similarly, column CD. Take CD, then you see the moments. So you see 
both are anti clockwise minus 18.6 minus 9.3 so go for free body diagram both are anti clockwise so 9.3 anti clockwise 18.6 anti clockwise no loads on cd just uh, only the reaction hd so take moments about c zero so taking anti clockwise positive so plus so here the direction considered is anti clockwise positive uh, earlier it was uh, clockwise positive is taken it's our choice because it is equilibrium equation free body diagram you are you, you are taking so 9.3 plus 18.6 is also in the same direction of moments so hd into 8 zero so hd value minus 3.5 kilonewton is hd okay so now to get uh, sway force take total frame free body diagram means remove fixed support at a remove fixed support at d remove assumed support at uh, c okay uh, which is uh, reaction yes sway force so now you apply sigma fx zero h a plus hd plus 20 okay minus yes this is opposite direction all are towards right so rightward forces positive is the direction considered here so ha value plus 2.75 hd value minus 3.5 and applied load 20 yes is the sway force so sway force is 19.25 kilonewtons what does it mean uh, to stop the sway of the frame how much force is required 19.25 kilonewtons force is required to stop the sway okay right so to proceed further uh, we'll come back to the next session okay so next session we'll be finding uh, we'll be going for sway analysis whereas by uh, assuming some sway moments we will carry out the similar analysis and then find yes dash value okay so this uh, we will uh, take up in the next session thank you